Hello YouTube, I am back with another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic split screening in the Blender game engine. Now I'm going to do this in sort of two parts. The first part is just going to be like plug and play where you just copy and paste the script in and it works and everything's dandy. The second way, or I'm going to step through then how to actually script this yourself for those of you that are interested. So before we get started, let's have a look at what we'll have at the end of this tutorial. All right, so we can see we have this short little script off to the side. We have a couple of planes here, each a different color, and a couple of cameras as well. Whenever we play the game, we can see the screen is sort of split down the middle between those two cameras, one side showing a red plane, the other side showing green. Okay, so now we're going to do this for ourselves. So the first thing we do once we get in our new blend file is split the 3D window, turn the new window into a text editor, go to text, open text block, download the script in the description called viewports.py, and you'll see it's a very basic script here. We're then going to switch from Blender Render to Blender Game, switch the bottom window into a logic editor. The first sensor is going to be an always sensor, that's actually going to be the only sensor. And then we're going to do a Python controller and attach our script to that controller. Now there are going to be two properties that we need to add to our object, whether that be a camera or uh, another regular object. We're going to add two game properties. The first one going to be cam1, the second one going to be named cam2. It's very important that they're spelled like that. And then they're going to be string properties. Now these are going to be the names of the two cameras. So for instance, cam1 is going to be the name of our first camera. In this case, that's going to be camera with a capital C. So we're going to name it that. I'm then going to select the camera and the cube. I'm going to move them off to the side here, and then I'm going to duplicate those. And I'm going to hit RZ180 to make them face the opposite direction as the first one. Now this cube has logic on it, so I'm actually just going to delete that along with the two properties that are on that duplicate. So the default name for our second camera is camera.001. So we're going to go back to our cube here in the property, and we're going to put in cube or camera.001, just like that. And that should be it. You hit play, and we can see actually three cubes. That's because any transparencies seem to... Uh, let the viewport go through. Don't know if you understood that, but you can see there we got two different cubes and we can further exemplify this by giving one of the cubes some color by going to the materials tab, add a new material, and let's make this red. So now if we hit play, we can see one of the cubes is red and the other is not. So if that's all you need, then you are good to go. That's all you really need to know. Um, again, these cameras, the properties on whatever object you choose will change what cameras you are using. And it's very important to get all of the spelling exactly the same as it is on the name of the object. And now I'm going to step through how you can script this yourself in case you want to change this a little bit for your own game. So I am actually just going to delete the whole script there. I'm going to walk through this step by step. So there are going to be two modules that we need to import, and that is going to be the logic module and the render module. So we're going to do from VGE import logic comma render. Now this next part will change based on whether you want it to be modular or not. Uh, I've seen some comments saying that I should do more things modular, which basically means we would set it up so that it changes which camera we choose based on these properties. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial right now, I'm not going to show you how to do that because you probably already know how to do that if you're really wanting to get into scripting. So for now, we're just going to get the list of cameras and just sort of hard code the two cameras that we want to use in there. So to do that, we're going to need to get the scene. So we're going to do uh, cam list equals logic.get current scene, open parentheses, close parentheses, because that's a function, and then we're going to do dot cameras. Give ourselves just a little bit of space, and now we're going to define the two cameras, so we're going to do cam1 and cam2. Cam1 is going to be equal to cam list 
open bracket apostrophe and then the name of the camera so in our case it's going to be camera with a capital C apostrophe close bracket and cam2 is going to be exactly the same except instead of camera we're going to do camera 0.001 apostrophe close bracket and so that's going to get our two camera objects so then we need to get the window width and window height that is the uh, render window width and height so to do that we're going to use the render module so I'm going to do width equals render dot get window width open parentheses close parentheses next line down I'm going to do height equals render dot get window height open parentheses close parentheses so that's going to return both the width and the height of the window so next we're going to set up the viewports or the s different screens so we're going to do cam1 dot viewport dot set viewport open parentheses and then this is going to be in the way of the left side of the viewport the bottom of the viewport the right of the viewport and then the top of the viewport so we're going to basically give it the four different sides of the square that we want to have it take up so for instance the left is going to be the left where the left side of the screen is as far as the width uh, the bottom is going to be where the bottom of our screen is positioned on the screen and so on and so forth so this is where we're going to basically decide uh, how the screen is split, whether it's split horizontally, vertically, or even both if you have four different camera angles. For now I'm going to split it vertically. Uh, I will explain how to get it horizontally then right after that. So, so the window numbers will be anywhere from 0, 0 to whatever the width and height is. 0, 0 is going to be the bottom left and they will go up as the screen gets bigger uh, to the top right. So for our first screen, which is going to be on the left side, the left side is going to be at position 0. The bottom is going to take up the whole screen, so it's going to start at 0. Now the right is going to be at half the screen. Now the set viewport function will only take integers, and whenever you divide in Python, it automatically converts it to a float. So we want to make sure we tell it to keep it an integer. So we're going to have to do int, open parentheses, and then we're going to do width divided by 2, close parentheses. So that's going to give us an integer of the window width divided by 2. And then we know the top is going to be the full screen height. So in top, we're going to put in height, like so. So there we have our first viewport set up. So we're just going to copy that and paste it down below that. And instead of cam1.setViewport, we're going to do cam2.setViewport. So for the right-hand screen, we're going to start with our left position half ways through the screen. So we're actually just going to cut and paste this. So control x over int width divided by 2. And we're going to put that in the first slot there. The bottom of our right hand window is again going to be all the way at the bottom of the screen so that can stay at zero the right of this screen will be the at the full width of the window so we're gonna put in width and then this is also going to go all the way up to the top so that will be height as well so now if we hit play uh, nothing happens and that's because we have not told the cameras to use these viewports yet so a couple lines down we need to do cam one dot use viewport equals true and we can just copy that line down and switch it to cam 2 so now if we hit play we can see we get the split screen okay so what if we want to split it horizontally rather than vertically we just have to change a few of the numbers so we know the left of the top window is still going to be 0 the bottom is going to be the height divided by 2. So we need to convert it to an integer. So we go int, open parentheses, height divided by 2, close parentheses. 
we know that the width is going to be the full width. So instead of width divided by 2, we're just going to put in width. And the height for the top window will go to the full window height, so we can leave that the same. So then on our bottom window, the left is also going to be 0. It's going to be all the way off to the side. The height is going to start at 0, or the bottom is going to be at 0. The width is going to be the full width. And then the height of the window, or the top of the window, is going to be at height divided by 2. So we need to again do int, open parentheses, height divided by 2, close parentheses. Now if we play, we can see that it's split horizontally. And you can mess around with these numbers to basically get any sort of split screening you want. I wanted to just uh, thank all of you for your feedback. It helps me make these tutorials a little better. At least helps me improve on making them. Hopefully this helped you out. So thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.